HER2 CLIMB WAS A PIVOTAL STUDY THAT TESTED TO CATNA VERSUS PLACEBO ADDED TO TRASTEZUMAB AND CAPECITABINE FOR PATIENTS WITH PREVIOUSLY TREATED HER2 POSITIVE METASTATIC BREAST CANCER, um, INCLUDING THOSE WITH AND WITHOUT BRAIN METASTASES. Uh, THE BACKGROUND FOR THIS STUDY IS THAT um, you know, HER2 POSITIVE METASTATIC BREAST CANCER REMAINS INCURABLE AND WE HAVE LIMITED TREATMENT OPTIONS AFTER PROGRESSION ON THE STANDARD SYSTEMIC TREATMENTS, TRASTEZUMAB, PERTUZUMAB, AND TDM1. Uh, additionally, up to half of patients will develop brain metastases during their disease course. Ticatinib is an investigational oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor that is highly selective for HER2 with minimal inhibition of EGFR, so it may provide a more favorable toxicity profile. Also, we've seen in a phase 1b study that ticatinib in combination with trastuzumab and capecitabine um, has, it has a safe uh, profile and has encouraging anti-tumor activity in heavily pretreated patients, including those with brain metastases. And um, the efficacy in brain metastases is also supported by preclinical work. So this sort of uh, was a rationale for the HER2 climb study. What we saw in the study is that when tocatinib was added to standard therapy with trastuzumab and capecitabine, it improved progression-free survival in patients both with and without brain metastases. Moreover, there was a significant overall survival benefit, notably in this heavily pretreated patient population that included patients with brain metastases. So this is really represents a major advance in the treatment of advanced HER2 positive breast cancer for patients.